Hey, there's supposed to be Bull Montana in here. Don't be a butthead. Go to B T T F dot com. Somebody's watching TCE, and you better be out there because our ratings need to go skyrocketed out there. Now, Colonel, <clears throat> get a shot of the Colonel right now. What the hell are you wearing there, Colonel? I'm wearing uh, something from the Back to the Future, I believe. From the something from the Back to the Future. Yeah, that's right. All right, okay, all right. I understand now. You are a national, so actually a worldwide web spokesperson for a BTTF.com. Uh, we just saw that commercial. We just came back from commercial break there. I didn't believe, uh, the hits have been going through the roof. I've been talking to the webmaster, Stephen Clark, down there, and he says, not since they announced the Blu-rays have the uh, attention to that website skyrocketed since your little YouTube uh, commercial there, Colonel. Wow. Wow, that's all he's got to say. I think there's a, I think there's a few short circuits in his uh, bionic head plants up there. Now, Colonel, do you have, do you have any idea what that helmet is? I believe it's called the butthead. But uh, TC, if you camera picked this up, as, as yeah. you know, there was a well-known character that signed this uh, butthead. Yeah, and you turn it around backwards so the plant behind you can see the autograph. That really worked out good, didn't it, Colonel? Maybe oh, we can... Ladies... Hold on. Uh -oh. He, oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. He's improvising. Yeah, that, that worked out real good, Colonel. Excuse me, folks. In the meantime, go to bttf.com, I guess. Uh, yeah, go, go, go on. It's a 60-minute program here. There we go. Oh, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. It's like Superman going inside of a telephone booth. Biff signed, Biff signed it. Biff signed it. Yep. Get a shot. Can we get a shot of the helmet there from the autograph there from uh, Tom Wilson, who played Biff in Back to the Future, and Griff, his grandson, with the helmet there. Unbelievable. You know, you, you know, that's a perfect segue into what we're going to go to right now. Uh, that's an autograph right there, but a person who knows a lot about celebrity autographs, the South Boston Jeff celebrity stalking, and the events that have happened this past week when they were taping this program, they finally caught Whitey Bulger, ladies and gentlemen, and of course he's from South Boston, and Jeff right now, I believe, is in South Boston, and he's going to give his report on Whitey Bulger and his latest edition of South Boston Jeff celebrity stalking. Woo! What's up, TC? It's South Boston Jeff. Sorry I couldn't make it to the show tonight, but I just got a fat tip that Whitey Bulger is coming to, to this courthouse, and I'm going to be the first person to get his autograph. So I'm standing here waiting, but here's another edition of Celebrity Stalking. We know who the real king of late night TV is, don't we, TC? Celebrity stalking. Got a quick question. Sure. Who do you think would win in a fight, the cast of Scrubs or the surgeons from MASH? Wow, that's a deep question. I think the cast of Scrubs. We got Donald and Johnny C, they're both uh, strong men. I agree, I agree. There's Anakin Skywalker, episode one. He must hate his life. Yippee! Hey, your father was great in the Kentucky Fried movie as the clumsy waiter. Donald Sutherland as the clumsy waiter. What'd you just get? That was called Keeper Sutherland. I almost peed my pants. I owe you, cause I would have never seen it. How did you know you saw him coming from up the street? You are really uh, professionals. I, I owe you from tonight, that's for sure. Celebrity Stalking. Hope you enjoyed that episode of Celebrity Stalking. And uh, Mario still stinks, but I'll tell you something that doesn't stink. I just met him. I just did it. I just met Whitey Bulger and everything. And I want you to meet him. So here he is, everybody. Woo! That's one hell of a facelift. Back to you, TC. Woo! Okay, there. 
Yeah, I'm kind of speechless at that. More like like Gollum than Whitey Bulger out there, Jeff. I think a little too much uh, South Boston action down there. But Colonel, what do you think about that in there? You met Kiefer Southern. You a big fan of 24? No, uh, TC, I don't, I don't watch uh, 24. Why not? You go from channel 23 to 25? Well, why don't you watch it? I, I just never watched uh, that uh, that uh, show, uh, 24. Well, I'm curious to find out why you're not watching that. Tell me, tell me that. Well, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, shows I like. That's why. Oh, so there's something better on that you're watching other than 24. Right. What do you think about that also in there? They met that kid from Star Wars there, the kid who played Anakin in episode one. Did you ever see that one? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, yeah, what's your take on that? Uh, Star Wars one was one of the best uh, best movies out. Oh, that's fantastic out there. Colonel, I think that helmet's on a little too tight. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a big-time commercial break, and we come back, we're going to talk about the big events that are going to be going down on July 16th at the barbecue, and who knows, I may ride a skateboard to this song. Hi, this is Bob Dale, writer-producer of the Back to the Future trilogy, and you're watching After Hours with T.C. Rustani. Make a one 